Thank you, Kevin. Welcome back to the desk, ladies and gentlemen, where we move into game number two of Epsilon versus London Conspiracy. Epsilon dominant in the first match. You hear the analyst uh, backpedaling a little bit on the one game prediction from London Conspiracy. Shadow Nightmare holding strong. You know, usually I have all these notes, and I'm just like, Epsilon's comms are really good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, th th that was, I mean, <laughs> yesterday um, in the final set of North America, one of the things that really stood out to me was how good Eager's comms were. Yeah. Um, Zatman, like this, like, legendary play caller in Smite, and uh, at the Fire Giant, how seamlessly they had Omega calling the shots when he was the one zoning, like, and it worked for the team. They said, okay, now let's focus Sean Quay, and they all collapse really well. Um, but nothing like those Epsilon comps. I mean, those calls were really unbelievable. Usually it's Jeff Hindler for me that is the best caller, but I think everyone was so anxious and so flustered last night that Jeff was just, um, uh, nasha. Like, just he didn't yeah. have words yesterday, which is so insane to me. Uh, I don't think we're going to see the same thing from Epsilon this morning. The real question I have is, they're calling all those times. Which one of them is, like, like keeping that all in their head? Everyone. <laughs> you think everyone is? Yeah, oh, yeah. probably. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Uh, LDNC going to be taking first pick, first ban this time as Epsilon takes the red side. What are you, what are you, what are you suggesting here, Renz, for the uh, the early bans for for London Conspiracy? Well, Thor obviously has to go. He he just crashed in. Oh, two, they could pick three, the Thor four people out either. of the first pick position at least. They could, but I don't think they will. Um, they yeah, might they might just feel um, comfortable playing against it. They might have a plan against it. I I don't know. Um, I do think. LC will go to the Sela Naja combo though. They run uh, quite often against Titan. Um, they feel really comfortable in it. They've been playing it for a long, long time. I bet you Epsilon read that, which is why they banned the Zeus. I don't think they're afraid to give it up. I think that they just don't want to play it at all. Uh, Soul could be taken away, but they don't want that very easily killed god to maybe get hit by that combo. Uh, Soul yeah. first pick, maybe not so unexpected. No, but you're going to give up Xing and... No, Thor? I, yeah, Jing, Jing Thor, Thor or Athena Thor, or Athena Jing. I think I think they'll value um, not Athena because they played well against it last game. Yeah. Um, Refer is fine playing on different gods, but Athena and Thor together is they are really extremely good. Extremely difficult to handle, even as a soul. <laughs> First pick gonna be uh, Xing, Xing Chen. Yeah, Xing Chen Chen into Thor. Cer and oh, Cer oh yeah, Cerk's available. Hits. Yeah, and uh, well, there's uh, there's two junglers at the top of the heap, Sarket and Thor, and Sarket's very good against Thor. So, right now, Zashu has got to be saying to himself, "This is going to be bad." Yeah, yeah, fighting Ching Chen is going to harass you down so well. Sarket's going to blink over the wall and just take you down. And look, look there's the adept king himself. He's Shout out like, to the, the San Francisco Giants. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> he just was like, "I think it looks cool." I <laughs> asked him. I was like, "Are you a Giants fan?" <laughs> I actually asked him if he was a 49ers fan because sports ball. Right. <laughs> and then after that, I was like, "Dude, that's the Giants!" And I was like, eh. "You know, <laughs> same." Aries, okay. Athena. So Aries solo lane, right? Yeah. Oh, Athena jungle. Yeah, no, come on, Renz. Nah. Have, have, have some believe. fun. You're killing believe. the dream, man. If they if they locked in tier, I, I would. You know what? To yeah. be fair, Ares solo lane versus Xing Chen nah. is awful. <laughs> so it's probably a thing nah. in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> Freya picked up by Epsilon again, feeling confident confident with that. They're going to take away the Giannis just to uh, prevent too much global stacking on the side of London Conspiracy here. I wonder if they're going to save their mage to the end. Um, or their support. It feels like they the should take is, their is support Shaggy here. pick Neath again into Freya. Huh. Right, because like they probably want that synergy with the Athena. They want that double global. I mean, it's tough to pass that up when it's available in the draft, but Shaggy Shank feeling confident. By the way, second time we've seen Ymir banned against Epsilon. Uh, Renz, what do you think about that? Refer plays Raffer. a really good Ymir. Yeah, that's all. Um, and Deuce it's also really good against Ares. Where's Deusa going? Mid? I mean, huh. um, oh. Um, oh. Jungle Freya? That's a support Shin Yeah, ju mm, wait, Jungle Freya. Well, okay. No, it can't be because it's circuit. It can. Su support support Shin Chen. Sh support Shin. Yeah, and Medusa and then, solo. Yeah. Most likely. Demi likes to play ADCs. He, he always has. Yeah. Um, I mean, Deuce is a great solo. Bring Luce onto that lane. I mean, you harass for days. Yeah, sure. There's, I mean, you can't dodge that cone. Yeah, and London Conspiracy is going to need to draft something high sustain. Maybe a tier of their own, even a chalk. I think uh, a little bit frustrated right now is Cherry O. I mean, like, that was a pretty unexpected draft. I love the Bologna pick here. Uh, surprised that we haven't seen Bologna do uh, much this morning. We've had one game. Right? I mean, well, like, she didn't get picked or banned, and she was, like, first pick, first ban yesterday. It's and NA, then NA she versus got picked, EU, what, I think. Seventh? Eighth? A little bit there. I mean, the team's just... Uh, Bologna widely varies in uh, priority between teams. And uh, listening to London Conspiracy yesterday talk about it, I think it was Emilzy saying that, like, they got run over by Omega for two games playing Bologna, never played it, picked it up, and then won. Yeah. 
So I, I think it's just a, it's it's completely just a composition team how they feel about the pick. And Lung Conspiracy feeling pretty good. Medusa mid lane, Sobek solo or Sobek support, Shing Chen solo, uh, Freya, uh, maybe. What about Shing Chen mid? I'd do it. Let's do it right now. It could be Shing Chen mid. I mean, like no, chalk mid. He could do it. There's no reason not, right? He has he has the clear certainly. He's very hard to gank. What's what's your professional uh, opinion on this one, right? Um, I don't think they'll run Shing Chen mid because. Mid lane is normally built like full damage, and Xing Chen doesn't work well with that. And if you build Xing Chen mid with the normal build, um, as in like solo lane, uh, you just go like Press full tank and, and still do too much damage. Yeah. Then I don't think they're gonna have to give up mid camps. I think Xing just has quite bad mid camps, clear and contest even. So I think they're gonna either solo or support. They can switch switch it around with Sobek. Um, both do well. Juice solo. on the other hand has that escape and has the burst to secure mid camps. Yeah. Uh, that's just quite a lineup, man. Like, that was a very unexpected draft. Uh, also, shout London out to, has got to uh, be a little shaken on that Xing one. Ten spin into Medusa Ultimate. How do you, you can't stop that. I th I they I can really change their know. they can change their camera angle, can't they? While they're while they're in midair? Probably, yeah. Just like in Capri Pool, you can still turn around. That's right, yeah. But yeah. can you do but he's spinning you around and tossing you towards the deuce. I mean that's not gonna be easy. No, and it's certainly You'll not. definitely get hit by it. Yeah, now um, when you turn to stone is the question. Yeah. Where, where are they going? Medusa mid, yeah. Okay. Medusa mid, Demi going to be Sobek solo. Oh, okay. Sobek solo. Okay. Raffer supporting as the Xing. Um, probably because it does better against Bologna than uh, Xing does. Mm. I, I was kind of thinking Xing was going to use the one to try to stop Bologna's in-hand damage. Um, try to like reduce her wave clear a little bit. But, Sobek I mean, has Sobek a really has easy stop of bludgeon. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's just shut down bludgeon every time. Well, I mean, I guess so can Xing Chen. It's just a little less confirmable. Yeah, Whereas exactly. Tail exactly. like, hey, giant AoE. <laughs> hmm. Beats one onto Ares. Um, not sure why. I guess he's scared of the Xing level five. Um, Did maybe Xing hitting level five before Ares, and then Ares is a guaranteed pull. So I really think the analysis is Emil's is just scared. But yeah, why? Like, Can't Ares, Ares can just use his own ultimate to he dodge He won't hit it. five. Xing Chen will clear that wave faster than faster. Ares will. And he won't be five yet? And then he won't hit five. Immediately, Raffer will go for the ult, send him back. Emilito will do a ton of damage oh, and it's, ult hey, after. I, I was actually going to say this. It's Sol mid lane, right? Because we have Rom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we saw we saw that Sol locked in. We saw Arrow kind of Arrow's done like, this before. Yeah. Um, actually, I think this is her, her best role. I love her in mid. Mid? Yeah, yeah. I mean, as a hunter, it feels like... Her end game isn't getting quite the same mileage as someone like Rama would. I don't like the. I just don't like the buildup that we've seen from the the pros on Soul Duo. The Poly. No, the Book of Toth. Oh, I mean, books a lot of damage. I don't. I don't like cooldown boots Book of Toth at all. I think she's. A, I think that Soul is very capable of fighting in the mid game, and when you go for items like that, it precludes her ability to do that. I like Chronos Pendant uh, and Pen Boots. What about you? Um, Soul can be built in so many different ways. It, it depends how you want to play her. Um, if you want to go for the big burst with your two, you can rush your poly um, and just shred with that. You can also go um, for cooldown, uh, for instance, Chronos. Uh, maybe into Spear, there's a lot of ways you can go with her. I like I like Battle Souls. I like Souls that are ready to fight early. Pen Boots, maybe a Chronos Pendant, maybe even a Demonic Grip if you're feeling spicy. So far, uh, Demi uh, on the back foot here. Zashu controlling the lane very well. Uh, maybe not to be unexpected, though, considering the fact that Sobek early clear is, is pretty, uh, I guess, low grade, right? Compared to not even getting the bludgeon damage, just having just the, the AoE cleave. auto attack. Yeah, exactly. I mean, from the hammer. Yeah, it's, a, it's a sleepy, it's going to be a sleepy lane. And again, um, Absalom are going to take their back camps because they just have a stronger um, early game. Look at this. And they'll fight them. They want them to rotate over and to fight them. Athena already is Should so, so low. be enough damage with an in-hand. Not going to be in range for the Lacerate over the Athena top. Athena dash is up, but they're going to body block Soul now and turn on to her. Really nice call. I don't know if it would have killed, but it, it should be noted that Adapting didn't get to rip the poisons off there. Yeah. That would have been a 15 to 20% hit. If Lacerate would have hit, that would have been a kill, but just yeah. a little bit out of yeah, position. Definitely. She didn't have the line of sight. Like yeah. She tried to run the wall. The it didn't hit anyone. Um, they, they, they didn't even get the back camp, so that was just a fight. I'm Which down. went in Epsilon's favor by a lot. Yeah, Cherry is almost dead. Look at that health. Uh, he must have gotten hit by Asset Spray. Yeah, he got hit by an Asset Spray on the back end. It must have. I think more than that, actually. Plenty tower. Now, they may go over the wall here. Yeah. Wow. Look at this guy. In and out they like knew a it. pro. They knew it was going to happen. And, I mean, to be fair, Sir Ket single-handedly got the item Blink nerfed. <laughs> for that play right there. I yeah. mean, that's it. I mean, that's why the item was Blinked. It was because at level one, Sir Ket 
Is that is With that the blink. new verb? Anytime something gets nerfed, we're gonna say it got blinked. I got blinked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's been so many good nerfs, though, throughout the years. Is Blink really the best one? <laughs> hey, I'll, you said it. <laughs> Absalona going to ride walk into Athena here again, actually. I'm, I'm wondering oh, gonna what um, Cherry is going to do. If he'll... He's gonna maybe try for just a reach. Snag the big minion or something. No, it'll actually be... They just forced him out. out. And Adapting is going to go and uh, pressure the soul lane, at least get it in his mind as he rotates back towards mid. Let's check in with the dual lane. We haven't said much about the guys over here as the first blood did happen in mid lane. So far, so good. It seems for LDNC. Yeah, they seem, they seem like they're doing pretty well. Dude, imagine Shing Ten and Isis on the same team, the amount of HP 5 you would have. <laughs> Funeral rights. I'm still surprised we haven't seen the strategy where um, you like, no, play sports in the jungle. No, come on, come on, come on. No. Right? And what you do is you run all five people to the tower and you kill four of them, and Isis watches it <laughs> and gets all her funeral yeah. rights. <laughs> Walk the lane with 50 MP5 and HP5. <laughs> and then just hope they don't rotate in first blood and get a pence kill. Yeah, no, that's just a terrible strategy. No, come on, man. I'd rather five-man Gold Fury. I'd rather <laughs> five-man Fire Giant at level zero, second zero than that. You wouldn't? I can't, but I would. We ha I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't seen like some weird Gold Fury jank strats. That's probably just because gold doesn't... Um, it's not isn't worth, it. worth that yeah, much. Early that's on. true. I mean, even when it was 3 hundred, it wasn't worth. But to like it. lose the entire right side of the map's buffs, it's just not worth. Yeah, you would have like uh, an interacting with spiders or a Falcon with purple pot and turret. Oh. Demi into Let's trouble. Here. Yeah. Got him. Well Got him. Nice return kill there by London Conspiracy. Zasha Ooh, gonna come up big, adapting in a bit. Of... didn't hit, but he's dead anyway. It's the slow, right? I mean, that it was enough. No, I I doubt the, Did slow, the slow not hit, hit either. No, I don't it, think he I, hit at all. It was just out of range, I think. It's a really long range uh, path to fly, but. Probably still was out of range. Yeah, he was running into the Epsilon Tower either way. Yeah, was, exactly. Yeah. Go down. Yeah. Which was a good idea, too, because Zashu just, like, at that point, it's like, all right, I'm just going to, I know I'm dead. Get away from my team in my tower as much as possible. Well, Epsilon uh, gets a return kill for the return kill. One Conspiracy gets on the board, but still 2-1 to one in favor of Epsilon through four and a half. Gold lead. Not so big, about 500 gold experience. Dead even here. A much better start for London Conspiracy. Uh, not dying in that early engagement. I mean, granted, they do give up first blood underneath tower, but not getting double killed. Uh, really, really helps out there because they were able to then go and secure some camps to keep this one really close uh, versus last game where they got pushed off the mark. And if they can make it to end game, I mean, aside from Freya, London Conspiracy has an extraordinary end game comp. A Mielzy to force, Beads, Zashu to follow up, Eagles rally, Cherio's in there for continued peel and damage, and then they have uh, both a magical and a physical carry. I mean, yeah. this is a really strong comp going into like 25 to 30, well, maybe they make even it there. 40 Remember, minutes. Epsilon had three gold furies at 20 minutes last game. That's true. So far, they don't have any. They don't. <laughs> Which is surprising. <laughs> I figured at this point they, they have got, to. They got two hunters now. Yeah, so I mean, their, their objective clear is going to be very, very fast. And that's something that's really important is Yamin is in the mid lane as a hunter right next to that Gold Fury. Yeah. Like, they could rotate at if any point London Conspiracy walks over a ward on the right side of the map, like, that, that Gold Fury's dead. Or even if they see them back, they'll yeah. just go for the Gold Fury as is. Ooh, a, a mischarge prey there. Zashu's still taking a lot of damage to that. Shout out to Sobek. He's now got his cooldown boots. And he's just, he's just a bully. Just a big reptilian bully. That's all he does. He, he is. Just wins his lane. He is a very large bully. But uh, lane already won for Zashu. Young man finding a kill onto Dimmy. Dimmy so dominant in game one. He's still down. Dimmy's still ahead. What? <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's sitting I under his tower. <laughs> <laughs> it's just wave after wave of Sobek going, hey, man. Sickening strike. D do your thing. Have fun. Yeah. See, that is not a family fun lane. No, that's gross lane. It's very Rotation gross. coming out here to the right side. It's Athena. Going to go make a little breathing room for Bologna. Yeah, this could this be the is, Gold Fury. This is not a gank attempt. This Athena is Athena ulti up, though. Hey, uh, I'm going to let you clear a wave without yeah. losing all the gold to the tower. And adapting. He's fine. No, nah, he's perfectly yeah. fine. Beautiful use of the three there to make sure he can get right into that corpular form and right out just in case they rush him down. You know, I learned the something. The pinks go out on Athena already here. But they know she's poked, but nah, they're not going to go for it. Bart, what'd you learn? I learned that you can cancel Souls 3 after you turn into a ball of light. Yeah, immediately. Yeah, that seems like it's maybe shouldn't be that way. Like you should be forced <laughs> to eat the downside. I'm sure there are a ability. lot of things people go, wow, yeah, it probably shouldn't be that way with Soul. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that you should have to eat that as like the, the risk to using that ability. Speaking of eating, she can't be eaten if she goes into that ability. <laughs> That's like my favorite interaction in the game right now. Trouble. Uh, in some trouble. One in hand should Ooh, be enough. He beats no. a little bit too early. That block stack might save him. Yeah, it did. Uh, he actually might have had a little bit more either way. Zashu uh, looks like he's getting soloed here. Nope, not soloed. 
Adapting was there in spirit. Even Rafa showed up. Soloed by Meerkat. Soloed by Meerkat, yes, mo most certainly. Rama is low mana. This can Fatalis be dangerous for him. Shaggy has an option here. It's either like roll or ult. No, and he's fine. For now. Oh, wait! Ooh. Oh, Emilito. They, they're gonna keep chasing. Yeah, I will, they, I will miss they, you. They have him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Four man. Might go maybe. Gold Fury, because they see Sobek back in and right and Sukat pushing. I can see them going for gold, although Medusa and Jing are on the mid camps. Yeah, do they know that Demi's ult is down? Did they see that in lane? It's a 4v2, they have to go for this. <laughs> no, they, they want to fight. They're too scared fight of the Jing and Medusa. Jing's gonna kite. Yeah, there's, there's too much potential between those two ultimates to turn the fight. Or at least pick off uh, the Sol right away and then them not be able to pick up the gold fear of their own. I mean, you, you gotta you gotta take some risks. I mean, Epsilon is just a team that will abuse. Like, look at this. Yum, 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 he gets all oh. three and just chucks them away. I'm surprised he threw them out. Yeah. I thought they were going Medusa LT is up, so I was surprised as well. Plus, that would have been the hottest death bane I've ever seen. <laughs> right? So yeah. Cat would have gotten nine yeah. hits there. <sighs> well, no credit online at least yet for, for adapting. I wonder if the comms, if that was Raffer's, you know, executive call, or if someone said, like, don't throw them at us. Or just maybe a misplay. Uh, he maybe he did want to throw them towards them, but just failed to do it. Right, they, in my experience playing MOBAs, this is how that went. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, should I throw him? Oh, um, I don't know! Uh, and then just <laughs> threw him away, right? Like, <laughs> that's a hard call to make. Like, you're like in the middle of the ultimate, and you're asking your team's not giving you a, like the, the direct answer. Just so, were you more away. playing MOBAs right now? Is that what you were Oh, doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, jeez, Raffer. <laughs> but I mean, like, that's pretty much how it goes down, right? You're just like, uh, I will miss you, Emilzy. Yeah, Emilzy gonna pop. Wait, to no, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Seven health. Seven. Seven H. What do you mean he's good? You didn't know that was Cal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pro player, dude. That's how it works. That's how you get good at games. Oh, Emily. So this, is a, this could this be a, a good fight, fight for LC. Conspiracy. Although it's Demi's rotation, Cherry's dead. Yeah, he was trying to get out of there. So uh, actually, if, if, he, if he picks up Yemen, this can turn into a good so fight. Have a to he has to kill him soon, though. Oh, he missed the auto attack, but the bludgeon came off cooldown. Uh, dodges it, uh, does adapting. He'll have a dash to get away. Raffer still has a decent yep. amount of CC himself. Dead. Yeah. Dead. Well, it looked like a good fight for Lenny Conspiracy, but that Sobek ultimate disrupted and didn't allow LC to stay like locked together and fight that as a team, and they got picked off one by one. Yeah, they, they were really split kill. up. Exactly. Onto Yaman. It's got to be hard to, to have to fight up into this monster of a team and to get such a good fight and have it still go even. Maybe it's a good thing, though, for LC, because they have put Freya behind. That's true. Um, and late game, as, as we already said before, they, they have the better late game, so... If they keep Freya behind, they might just delay it till they get their own late game online and win it from there. Um, Gold Fury hasn't been taken yet, and it's qu quite an even game still, so looking way better um, for LC in comparison to Game 1. Tier 1 did go down on the right side there, though the Demi don't think we pointed that one out uh, before the rotation into that fight, so uh, first tower does go the way of Epsilon. Uh, with that, they get about 1100. Not a uh, massive lead, nowhere near the uh, dominance they had at this point last game. It was about 4k at this stage. Four um, members of Epsilon here on the left side of the map. Two now moving back to mid. Serket and Freya on the far left side. But still, uh, staying pretty stacked up over here near the Gold Fury. you got to think that's uh, factoring pretty heavily into the team strategy you think at the moment. they're calling for it, Bart? Sorry? You think they're calling for it? No, but I mean, well, they're calling for left side mid camps and see if they can get Ares to turn this corner. But it doesn't look like London Conspiracy is going to take that bait. But still, uh, maybe going to force a fight here shortly, Epsilon. They've they started enough. They pulled it. Let's take the Epsilon comms. Oh my... Holy take this, take it out. Just run, just run. Just get run. out, no run. Just run, yeah. I'm going over the wall. I'm on my way, mate. Go, go. They're coming, mate. They're coming, mate. Yo, I can probably get... Oh, I think they're coming. Aris is dry. They push? Nice. Aris I'm going to look to... I'm going to go left. I'm going to go left. I'm right. left. Don't get zone. Let's go. I'm going to go left. I'm going to go left. Yeah. They're coming left, they're coming left. I can't fight. You can rotate now if you want. I does can't he have fight. Ult? I'm back. Yeah, he does have ult. He does have I'm backing. Ult. He's dead. Um, Athena's 50. Rama's right side, Athena. Or he's mid. Ares is mid as well. They're going to rap. The I'm going to rap. I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Okay, okay, okay. I'm backing. I'm going to send you here. Uh, blue's down. Blue just spawned. Blue just spawned. I'm just going to wait for Sun. Yeah, you do it. You can solo it. You can solo it. I, I can. I can. I do. Solo back, man. I don't have damage. I'm just going there. Right. Up here. I can yeah. come after this wave. Adapting um, right after they got the free Gold Fury, um, with they got it so fast as well. LC had nothing to to do there with uh, Freya, uh, Medusa, Circuit. And right after they got the Gold Fury, Adapting immediately said, "I'm gonna gank left. I'm gonna gank left." And Demi already started poking Bologna, and because he's Circuit, he was there on like. Five seconds? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe maybe six or seven. Yeah. Yeah, he ambushes to behind the wall, then blinks over it because it's a little bit yeah. Blink will actually have a much shorter timing for you to get off your 
uh, Cobra's Kiss as opposed to Ambush. Right, he's straight ulted fight. though. He's yeah, immediately he's ulted. ulted. Just <laughs> to not let Blona ulti. It's because insane. at that thing asked, is Blona ulti up? And Demi said, yes, it's up. So he knew if he would go for the Cobra's Kiss, he might miss it. Right. And then Blona can ulti away. And now he just went straight for the ulti. Cancel any opportunity for Sashi to left. Which forced out Cherry, Cherry Ozol, and at, even at that point, if Bologna had tried to run away, he could have dashed after him and then followed up with the Cobra's Kiss. I mean, there was just so many options covered by adapting there. My favorite part of the comm uh, listening was Epsilon being surprised at their own damage versus the Gold Fury. <laughs> <laughs> they were like hitting it, and they're like, what the hell? It's dead. <laughs> and, and that's uh, that's mid lane Dusa there for you. Fight breaking out here. There's going to be the first Ares ultimate of the game. It's not going to pull. Uh, anybody but Rapper, who's oh, happy to be no. there. Spin to win from the Shane 10. Down will go the Ares. Dimmy going to be netted with that kill. Poison going to be enough. Doesn't matter. Down will go Cherio as well. Dimmy gets the double on Sobek now. 5-1-2. and two. And once again, it's all Dimmy oh, here no. for Epsilon. Coming up huge. Arrow in some trouble. Going to get Dove mid lane. Rapper making the call there. Bologna going to at least Look stop at those guy. in hands. But in will go Dimmy. He fears no man. He is the Crocodile with a Breastplate of Valor and uh, the extra HP from the Uncommon Sash can be able to walk out of that one, although not unscathed at a, at a uh, unhappy one-third HP. Epsilon just got the freest last two minutes. Uh, you'll see their, their small lead has extended quite steadily uh, to about 2,500 now. Uh, experience difference not too bad. Shaggy Sank is still doing well here at level 13. Well, still much closer than last game. Much, much closer. At, th at this point, this was like almost 6K. Uh, they had like... What, 8,000 experience? I mean, LDNC is by no means out of this game. But how do they How do they take the lead? Well, I mean, I know the answer. They want to fight and they take some structures and some objectives, but <laughs> what fight can they win? They're under under their own bleeding. tower where I think Epsilon overcommit onto either Ares or Athena or Bologna. Because they're all pretty hard to kill. Um, especially if they get even more tanky, like five minutes in maybe, uh, and Epsilon go too deep. They can have a um, chance of turning it around. But it's, it's going to be hard for LC um, because Freya will come online steadily. Even though Rama is still a little ahead, um, Freya will do a lot to the Guardians of LC though. Yeah, one of the issues here is that there's just been almost no impact out of Cherio's Athena jungle. I mean, you pick Athena jungle because of her early game burst potential out of shield wall, right. especially her ability to pressure mid laners that are uh, low mobility. And, and that's not the case. I mean, Medusa, it's a dash. At least it's not a leap, right? You can still blow that up with Preemptive Strike and a Taunt. But we just haven't seen Cherio put out very much damage. Yeah, uh, and all the ultis have been defensive as well. That's right. And even though he def uh, ultis defens defensively, the person still dies before the ult even gets through. And I think the one time we didn't see a defensive ult was just in the jungle there where Amelesley finally gets off a decent Ares ult. He has Athena behind him, and they both just wind up lurking in the yeah, waters. Yeah, they both died. And they died very quickly. You know, uh, the Adapt King comes out, makes sure that the Preemptive Strike is shut down by using that poison. I can imagine being <laughs> no Epsilon uh, comes being there. Oh, Athena ults in to my Sobic ulti? Nice. Well, let's just <laughs> take another kill. Life is good. Uh, Gold hey. Fury about 25 seconds away here, right about the 16 minute mark it's going to be spawning. You can see the team starting to coalesce around that area. Lenny Conspiracy is going to try to counter ward here. Cherio is going to look to poke Raffer a little bit. Hmm. I think Lenny Conspiracy is going to, yeah, they're setting up for the Gold Fury here. Let's take a listen to Lenny Conspiracy comms and see uh, how they're going to try to set up for what appears to be a fight near breaking out over on the left side. Down. That's really bad. He's down back in two for minutes. Century. So get HP 3 and blink 3. Yep. It's cap they're looking for it now, they're looking for it now. We need to I have yeah, ult. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm an ult if they go for it. I have, I'm getting a sentry. It's all barrel. They could push out. We have three yeah, teleports. So Max can teleport. They have the wards everywhere. See, Shaggy, just see if they start it. They're start starting it, they're starting it. Okay. I'm right ready. Now. Teleporting. Can we go in? They're yeah. pressing it, guys. We need to go. We need to go, we need to go. We need to go. go. Let's go. go. Ult can I open? Let me reset. Swing tanks alone, swing tanks alone, swing tanks alone. He beat. Tangled. Yeah, we're on the back line, we're on the back line. Look at Freya, 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 Freya. Look at Freya, 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 Freya. I need to get, I need to back up. Me and Arrow really low. Look at him, he's down, he's down. I need to get out. Really low. Unfortunate. Might go for me soon. No, they're gonna go ult. Gonna try and heal, maybe steal. I got a few men ult, but I couldn't follow up on it. I have beats still. They just want to see me. Taunting? Kill Raffer. I'm a fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, no, mine, I'm not fine. Damn. Damn, nice man. Get him out, get out now, get, get out, out now, get out now, run away, run away. I got beat still. They didn't get gold, oh, they got gold. 
Yes, so I guess was fine. It was fine. I got two kills there. Scroll that yeah. 22. I, I don't think there's a worse feeling in Smite than getting a three man air result and having no one be able to follow up. The whole up. team had to run away. Yeah. Soul was one hit. I mean, just, just even like a stellar burst would have been such a different fight, but she was pushed out so early. Shame. A Gold Fury and a Tier 1 mid going to be picked up by Epsilon on the back of that fight. They already have the Tier 1 on the right side as well. Tower advantage, map control still going their way. Although London Conspiracy does uh, show some fight left in them there with that, with that engagement. Uh, able to kite fairly well, but the big issue was just that Epsilon just wasn't taking very much damage at all. The AoE wasn't there from London Conspiracy, as you mentioned, on that Ares pole and, and really throughout that fight. And, and that's a lot of that has to be uh, its arrow. I mean, arrow is the one that has to come up big in terms of magic spread damage in these fights. And as you mentioned, yeah, completely pushed out. I mean, well, Shaggy has a decent amount of gold here, right, Renz? Uh, let's see, what's his Battle Battle total gold? 9k, 9K yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's Probably gonna have execution soon, which will help him against the really tanky Zhang. He's got how many stacks? Six stacks on Heart of the Ocean already. That's a hell of a lot of stacks. <laughs> and building into probably sovereignty. Uh, might also be Megadian considering they have soul. Trouble here. Throw back. Cherio kind of stuck here. Emilzi looking for two. We'll find them. But I mean, yeah, it's kind of what they wanted, I think. Yeah, double, got double stun on the Medusa ulti. Oh as well. no. Pop. Yeah, they got two beads out of that Medusa ultimate. Arrow going to take into the incorporal form. Going to try to stay in this one. Jing Ten with a brief knockup. So back going to pluck him back. Beautiful play there by Epsilon. Just coordinating those CCs onto Sol. Shaggy Shank, he has the poison on him. Not not the ultimate poison, but uh, some, just some deathbane poison. I swore one of those deaths was on Epsilon. But it's nope. just they're not. It looks like they have a healer with how resilient they are in these fights. But it's just Sobek. I mean, it's a lot of self-heal. You have Freya's lifesteal. This yep. is like this is, what, this is gonna be a very, very fast fire giant. No one I mean, no one can get there in time. Even if Shaggy gets ults, I don't think no. there's enough time for him to even shoot it's, it before it's this. It's below is half already. No they're, way he They're can doing get like eight hundred DPS to this thing. I think they're doing more than that. Pretty insane. That was too quick. Uh, Epsilon, um, that that was nineteen minutes, Bart. That, that looked like it was that 35. That wasn't the 35 or yeah. four, 40 minute fire giant trending we've What's seen. What's scary is that there's not even really proper penetration out for this team yet. I mean, there's not an executioner there. That's that time is just going to go up. <laughs> that, that was without executioner. There was no Guan demonic Yu. grip granted from the Freya helping out for Xing Chen and, sure. and Sobek for what it's worth. But uh, yeah, no executioner yet for those range for those damage cores. Dusa may not even go for it. Maybe she'll go chin size. <laughs> and again, there, there's not many notes, right? There's not much to talk about here. It's just been Epsilon being Epsilon. They're 9k ahead now. Sure, there's uh, something to talk about. 13,000 golds. How good Dimmy is experience. playing. How, how good Dimmy is playing. Has he died yet? He's died one time. He's 7-1 at 8. 15 out of 16 kill participation. And dominant yet again in game two. Um, this player was very good during the online play. Um, but all not eyes like were on adapting. I mean, this is Dimmy is the star player of Epsilon through two games. Absolutely. And, and by a mile. Uh, it's just been like, he is dealing with everyone yep. all the time. He is interrupting every major spell while still doing a lot of damage. Uh, actually, check out the damage charts here. You're going to see Sobek, oh, I, I was going to say, wow. near the top. I was going to say, wow. on top. And that that is not slapboxing solo lane nonsense. That's a is lot of ulties. Two, three man ulties as well. Yeah, well, a couple thousand of that is. I mean, it's also a lot of credit where credit is due to Medusa and Sir Ket staying up that close to the subject who had Five that. It's going to be a big ultimate out of Ares. Will it get any pulse? Doesn't matter. There's a Medusa ultimate to follow it up. Adapting finds himself in some trouble. He can't find inner tower as Sir Ket. Athena going to try to get up into that ultimate. Chario is affected nice snipes. by the poison. Shaggy Shake will find the kill and adapting on the backside, but Zashu will pay with it for his life as he tried to maintain some kind of front line. Rushing down, the banish is going to be good. Last rate should keep him in place. Doesn't matter. Was that last rate and charge play at the same time? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. That see that again. He just died in the air. It's yeah. perfect. He didn't even get off the ground. Nah. <laughs> like he just died. Ooh, I think oh, that's, that's a bad dash. They, no, okay. Everyone is pushing left and. Yamin is just pushing on mid lane, so, they, so they'll have to creep away for a while after they take this Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it was a risky play by Cherio, but I think he had to make it there, because if there's a minion wave going into this Phoenix, he they did it again, faster. but they'll just take the Phoenix, nonetheless. I mean, he'll be throwing out some chains. Two minutes. There are two Oh, look at the main. The main is walked over here as well. Backdoor protection yeah. removed. And that, that was Emilzi, though. He dragged them over. Yeah, but sometimes they also, even if they're in the circle radius of the side Phoenix, sometimes the mid Phoenix won't have uh, backdoor protections. Just because it's barely in range. Uh oh, I didn't yeah. know that. That's very interesting. Uh, Gold Fury's come up. Uh, no stranger to objectives. Epsilon will probably rush that down pretty quickly. Executioner now available for them. This Gold Fury is going to go down in four seconds. 
Golden Hand for Freya, I think, is pretty important here. Let's check out Golden Hand uh, and increase it, I guess, by <laughs> another 350. About 2K, yeah. There's like 3K on Jing, dude. There's Mail Over Newell. Mail Over Newell, 10 stacks. Will you mouse over Height of the Urchin, please? <laughs> 65. Uh, physical, 65 magical, uh, and then 250 health and mana. Yeah, it's always nice to have a 10 stack Hide of the Urchin. Two, There's, one, and 15 Xing Chen. Yeah, look at the cost efficiency between the Hide of the Urchin on the Athena and the Hide of the Urchin on the Xing Chen. There's a 20, th there's a, a Sov and a Heart Ward passive difference right now <laughs> on him. That's enormous. Not to mention that shield, that uh, Mail of Renewal. You're not killing Xing Chen. That ain't happening. He will never die. Because, I mean, Epsilon's guaranteed to get a kill in these fights. And there's no weakening curse. There's no healers on that team. So they're not really worried about it. Even though if you consider lifesteal from Yaman, a ton of lifesteal from Emilito, and then you have, you know, Raffer with his HP 5, uh, and now has his mail of renewal. Sobek has sickening strike. The only person who doesn't heal on that team is adapting. Uh, and coincidentally was the only person who died in that last fight. He has a Malice and now a, a Warrior's Bane as well. Tons of penetration coming out on the side of Epsilon. These towers and these structures are going to go down very quickly. Already two Phoenixes down, only one remaining. And they're roaming through this London Conspiracy jungle 23 and a half minutes in. We may have another pre-30 minute game here. Uh, last game was what, 25 and a half? Yeah, just about. Yeah. This one, this one could go that way. One more fight could tip this one easily for Epsilon if they take it on this side of the map. Ren's uh, comeback potential here. I mean, what do you got? Poo, it's not Chariot's um, foot push, I can tell you that. They didn't throw the Dignitas Fire Giant throw, so it's going to be <laughs> real hard for LC to come back. Yeah. Hey, you guys in the chat can't use that. That's trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> Dignitas Fire Giant throw, TM. <laughs> TM. Dignitas. Uh, the Dignitas. Just, just toss the game away. That one's going to follow you. That's, that's <laughs> it will. It, yeah. That's classic, dude. There's, would, there's, dude. there's a great throw name for most teams. There's Clown9. Yeah, yeah. That's a great one. Uh, I like Clown9. Clown9? Yeah. That's our own smite Dignitas. brand. Dignitas. That's a good one. No, no good Epsilon puns for them losing games because they don't do they that. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't. They lost one to their scrim partners, like God forbid. And it was close. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I'm pretty sure they consider that game that they didn't even lose it because um, I'm pretty sure I talked to Amelito about it. And they felt like they lost it uh, because of Gold Fury. Like, they were it starting at Gold like, Fury yeah, and it yeah, moved really, really. And they lost a lot of damage on it. So, like, that game doesn't matter. We didn't lose that one. Um, they three-man the Fire Giant here in four phases. This is what I love about Xing Chen. Uh, in, well, usually it's about ten minutes later than this, but we saw this in a, an early game in this tournament as well. Xing Chen in the mid lane, just like spamming VEL <laughs> while the team takes Fire Giant. Because you just can't fight Xing Chen. Like, there's no way you're going to kill him in time. And he's just going to leap away from hey, you. So. Kill him. What, what, what's the over-under on how many people die from Epsilon in this, in this engagement? Here? I would say, I would posit zero. Yeah, this Maybe is clean. one from diving the well. This is clean. They're so far ahead in experience here. Uh, not to mention the damage output. I mean, Dimmy, the second he goes into lurking in the water, everyone has to run away from him because of Sobek. They have to respect it. Emilzy dead to rights here. He'll find a pull onto one. Here comes the Crocodile coming out, doing about 50% damage to the entire team there. Uh, Force to run away his arrow. He's going to get CC'd. Beads are going to be used as well. Do some moves forward. Here comes Shaggy Shake, and he is the last hope. Raffer's going to get stunned, but Raffer's going to leap away. Third Phoenix is down. Piling into the base is Epsilon. Let's take their comms as they look for the win. The North Nice. Oh, I didn't even nice. mean to get that. What the fuck? Right Phoenix, right Phoenix, right Phoenix, right Phoenix. Right Phoenix. I'm taking mid. Mid, alright, right. Go right, go right. This fucking mouse, dude. I blink knock up in two. Blink knock up on Sol in two. As soon as okay. you guys are in, in point. Just go for it. Blink knock up, so. Just end this, end this, end this. And end, end, end. Bro, go everything on Titan. Straight for end. Straight for end. Everything for Titan. Straight for end. Yeah! Let's go, boys! Well, there you go. Epsilon. Still, uh, even after all those wins this season, they still feel good. Guys still getting uh, pretty pumped up after that one. You saw the charts at the end there. Yaman taking over top damage with an incredible rush under that Phoenix. That mid lane Medusa, uh, maybe not a janky pick by any means, but certainly unexpected. Definitely unexpected. I don't, I don't think anyone has seen this coming. It worked out perfectly for them. Um, they might as well just run the same comp uh, second game because... You're not going to ban Medusa. Let's be real. You're not going to first no, or second no, you ban can't. I mean, a great call by you. I mean, you're saying, like, we were conjecturing whether or not they take the Athena, and you said, well, look, they'll just give away Athena because it wasn't like Lennon Conspiracy put a lot of pressure with it. They put it on a Chario jungle, and it had no impact. I, I just love this Medusa pick because we saw Best run uh, Anubis right in the mid lane, and the entire idea behind this, and I, honestly, I don't think it's the worst call, is to rush down objectives. But I feel like Medusa had 
just as good potential of taking the Gold Fury. Right. Maybe not the same secure potential, but given the fact that she has that ultimate for any incoming rush, she shuts them down in the tracks and guarantees the push. And then she has Freya to burst it down. That's just a brilliant comp. Well, anytime you make it through the laning phase with two Hunters, you're in really good position in the mid game to force objectives and to force fights, and, and that's what they did. And, and uh, it's also one of the strongest performances we've seen out of a team that didn't take three frontliners. Like, they were just so dominant in those fights, and usually it's, it's at the behest of two Guardians and a Warrior this time, just two do it. That's game two. Uh, just as quick as game one. We'll head to the Analyst Lounge for them to break it down for you just a little bit more. Uh, break it down is, is going to be one way to put this game. Epsilon continuing to look uh, like SPL form. We saw Envy fall yesterday getting upset, but it really doesn't look like Epsilon's going to have the same fate. It's two quick games. Uh, start with the picks and bans because this was kind of something a little bit crazy, a little bit janky bird. Uh, what are we looking at? Why did Epsilon really look for this comp? What was the, the game plan for them going into it? I think it might be the soul. I think they don't mind. Uh, Epsilon don't mind giving up soul. Whether or not they play it themselves, I think they've seen that LC favor it so highly. They say, here, take soul. We have something we can do against it. And then they pick this Serket Medusa who can get all their damage off before the, th the immunity on the soul 3. I think that's the big thing, is that we've had so much discussion about how do we actually kill the soul. Like, we know Ares isn't great against it, we know all these damage over time effects aren't great against it, because you get the immunity after three seconds, but if you can kill the soul before you get that immunity, it's it's huge. Uh, speaking of killing the soul before she gets the immunity, uh, first blood shadow nightmare, uh, a very quick blink by Epsilon. Uh, tell me how important that was, or a, a very quick rotation by adapting to catch soul kind of out of position. Tell me how important it is to get that early early first blood, especially onto a mid laner. Yeah, you know, like, adapting just took advantage completely of uh, the soul. Like, she went up, took, got a bit greedy for the wave, took a lot of poke, adapting, took advantage of that, blinked in, got the kill, got out, clean. Snowballed from that, got a big lead. And that how do you recover as a mid laner when you die that early? Especially as, I, I don't know how much you've done or, or played around with Soul, but Soul Sion kind of seems like a god that doesn't have very good uh, recovery time. Yeah, I mean, a Soul is really hard, especially especially against like Xing Tong, Sir Ket. Like, you just really can't do anything. You go into the jungle, you're going to get picked, your beads are going to get forced, and you're going to get bursted before your three immunity even goes off. And because Soul's like a, like a hyper late game carry, especially when you get Polynomic on, like Bukathoff, all that stuff going. You can't even get them items done if you get behind early. And uh, it's not it's even really just Xing Chen. You also have to worry about the Sobek that's going to dive your back line. We saw yep. Dimmy being a part of like over 90% of the kills coming out of Absalon that whole game. Yeah, we saw Dimmy uh, once again have, have a, a huge game uh, on Sobek after the tier. He just seems to play matchups and he, he doesn't seem to mind anything at all. Is this just his player skill? Just Is he just better than Zashu or is this kind of a matchup in his favor, Tully? It's definitely not a matchup in his favor early on. Bologna will slowly control the laning phase, but then like after level 7 and stuff, Sobek starts to rewin. And we, we had a lot of pressure coming out of Epsilon in general, which allowed... Uh, for Demi to kind of control the laning phase after that point in time. Uh, talk to me also about the 2v2 you were mentioning it to me. Uh, the Theana Soul not so strong uh, against the Sir Cat Medusa. Yeah, I mean, like, you look at the Athena's going to taunt into the Souls 2, and, but then, like, the Sir Cat and the Medusa have more burst potential than, I feel, the Athena Soul, right? You have the ulti coming out of the Sir Cat, the ulti coming out of Medusa. You're going to burst it down, spread the poisons. Both of them have a lot of damage over time, and it's just nothing compared to the Athena Soul. It's too much, rather. Uh, adapting, once again, a, a pretty big game. It seems like he's just rotating a lot. Uh, is this kind of the Epsilon style, is adapting, rotating, and just the team forcing as many fights as they can, Bird? Yeah, I, I mean, every, everyone said at the start of the game, they play their one way, they have Yemen with adapting, they only go together, and they get picks, they find opportunities where others might not find it, but I'm not honestly sure if this is an adapting's game, really. I mean, Yemen was like the least farmed on Epsilon. Yeah. I think this was just Dimmy. I mean, almost 100% kill participation as a Sobic solo. <laughs> Like, uh, he's just, he gets so fed so quickly, and he just rotates and rotates and rotates, gets all the kills, cleans up for his team, and it, it's huge. I mean, compared to Adapting, who, yeah, he, he had some good initi initiations. He got the Soul and the Athena behind to start, but realistically speaking, it, I mean, it has to be Sobek, right? It's got to be Sobek. One thing I wanted to point out was that LC let Thor and Serket go through in the picks and bans. They picked up the Serket thinking that they would counter that with the Ares for London Conspiracy, but it didn't really work out too much in their favor. The burst was just too strong coming out of Epsilon. There were so many CC immune ultis from Epsilon to deal with the Ares that they weren't even worried about it. 
Uh, totally. Talk to me a little bit about the comms uh, coming out of London Conspiracy. You made a big point uh, when we went to that listen and near the Gold Fury fight. Yeah, so around the 1730 mark, we saw uh, LC's comms were a little bit staggered. So Epsilon started the Gold Fury for like about 10 seconds. We're bursting it down. LC got there a little bit late. They called one target, and then two seconds later, they called a different target. Just everybody was all over the place. Epsilon did a good job kiting, and that kind of confused LC as they had to kind of like retreat. They lost, I believe, three for two, but uh, Epsilon still got Gold Fury, and they were just ahead ever since. How important are clean comms? Like, did, it, did that, uh, I know you guys faced Paradigm, and it was kind of a lot of back and forth. Did you guys struggle with comms in those matchups? Uh, the comms were a little bit, like, someone would do this, someone would do a different thing, but, I mean, most of the shot corners pretty clear. Like, we were like, kill Athena, kill this, kill that. Like, clean comms, everybody listened, everyone went to that, and that's why we had a good do, good matchup against you, Paradigm. On but, but most of those matches were kind of, they were all, all in contention. Like, they were all very close games. Do you feel like London Conspiracy, like, their uh, comms, excuse me, are cluttered right now because of how much pressure they are yeah, under? Yeah, Because definitely. it's just Epsilon? Because, I mean, once you get behind, you got to be like, okay, how are we going to get back in this game? People want to do stuff. We want to force stuff. But you just can't. you got to do it precise if you want to get back in the game. And it just seems to try too hard to force stuff. People want to do, like, constant things and... It just ends up how having nothing. How do Eps or excuse me? How do London Conspiracy get back into this match? I don't, I don't know. To be honest, they got to really like come out of some janky strats, like something catch up on off guard, like I've been saying. Well, that last game we saw Shaggy Shank being like the player of the game for London Conspiracy. Mm -hmm. He was the most farmed. He was actually, I believe, ahead a little bit of Emilito. He at was one like point. the third most farmed in the game. I believe, yeah, at one point. and they were leaning on him a little bit, but. They couldn't really find the right opportunities to get the team fights in their favor. Like, you have one player that's doing well, but you need more than just one player to stand out. So the rest of London Conspiracy is going to have to step it up. And I think it's going to have to come down to the jungler just to make plays and find those openings and try to just shut down adapting. Maybe. What kind of style do you think Cherio should look for in the jungle bird? I think uh, this whole tournament, really, he's been, he's been going on the more supporty, uh, supporty junglers. He has Naja, where he's not really... He's not getting fed, he's getting the team fed. He has Athena where he's not getting fed, he's getting the team fed. Even if he's making plays. But I think maybe he needs to just be a bit selfish, say, all right, I want Serket, I want Thor, I want to get fed, and I want to make plays. I think it might help them. It might not. They might maybe need to put a bit more attention on Dimmy, try to get him behind the star. I mean, they, they did get the kill in this last game, and it set him a little bit behind, but, I mean, they were there to clean up, and it, it didn't really do much. So it's, it's hard to say, really, because they have so many different ways they can get ahead Epsilon do so how, how is anyone beating Epsilon right now like not even looking at this set like how is anyone beating Epsilon well no one is right <laughs> uh, like just it, it seems like they're unbeatable and, and you know the more we talk to everyone it just seems that no one has an idea how to beat them is there is there any weakness in Epsilon? Is there anything you can exploit? Is there anything you can use? Well, the one game that Epsilon actually lost was against Fnatic, yes. and I think what happened that game specifically was the Thanatos on adapting. He made one play around purple buff at the like three minute mark mm -hmm. to invade, and then ever since then they couldn't really make a play. So maybe, like I said, try to shut down adapting, not give him any openings to take away from yourself, and then look for the counter initiation off of the aggressiveness from adapting maybe. All right, we'll see if London Conspiracy can do just that, guys. The score is 2-0 in Epsilon's favor. They're looking to qualify for Worlds. One game to go.